This is a new voice recorder module that I made. It's uh, called Voice Rec 3. And uh, it's based on the ISD1820 chip. There's a whole lot of circuit going on here. Uh, it's, um, the idea is that it um, plays back uh, sample and then the, the LED that set resets that sets the um, uh, the, 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 from the ISD there's this LED that goes on and when the when it's done playing and this LED then trigger can trigger it to play again and uh, the trick here is that I uh, use this LED to uh, switch off the audio volume when it restarts. This may prevent a click from happening. It's a uh, idea I got from a friend of mine, uh, Tom Verbrugge, at uh, Tech, and he uh, had this idea, so it works pretty good. Uh, but it, I made it a bit complicated a lot of resistors, capacitors, transistors and shit, but um, <coughs> yeah, it, uh, here's the uh, microphone input, then here you, if it's a low here, the switch, then it's off, then the gate input is disabled, uh, the chip keeps running in the background, so it keeps sending out the trigger signal from here. If you put it like this, it's a shortened gate that tr triggers the factorial as in uh, uh, with a little uh, sh uh, trigger signal with a short envelope. And this is basically follows the what you put in here, the gate input. And if there's nothing is connected here, then this turns on the playback of the loop. It just keeps playing. <coughs> here we have the record button. And the microphone is below here, you see. Then here there's the stop button. It's, uh, it doesn't, it's, when the sample is finished playing, or when the sample plays and you keep this, hold it in, if you keep holding it in, then at the end of the sample playback, 
it will stop and it will stay stop until you let go so when you let go the sample starts playing again uh, I added this button also because sometimes it doesn't start playing for some reason I don't know why and then if you press this it starts playing but uh, it's extremely rare that it happens uh, then here you have the the, the um, playback speed pitch here's the CV input for the pitch with the adjustment here this is the audio output volume you can there's a little hole here with a trimmer part where you can also adjust the range of the audio output volume and then here you can adjust it for live then uh, audio out is here here we have the gate output which is connected to the reset LED from the chip uh, if you uh, if you uh, as you can see it made it a half uh, square because it also and it work it can also be used as a uh, not a non officially as a input so you can trigger you can send the gate out but you can also send the gate in here and then it will if the gate is high the volume of the whole thing goes off and there's no sound coming out and if it's low then uh, then there's audio and here's the gate input so you can you need to gate and then you can trigger it here and it triggers the the factorial uh, then as you can see it's quite thin yeah. this is 